Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed the bubble chart implementation in Drift 5 in previous video. And I did and I did receive some comments. That's an example for user level code implementation, but sooner or later we have to get deep into the interrupt and machine code to write some useful code for real world embedded applications. As a, as a step towards that, in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, special purpose registers in RISC V. These special purpose registers are not uh, memory mapped in RISC V. And as its name suggests, uh, these are for certain special purpose. In RISC V, these are called the control and status registers, abbreviated as uh, CSRs. In this session, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, the CSRs and uh, how to read, write, and modify, uh, followed by an exercise on uh, reading and writing a CSR with, on my hi one revision B board, and uh, we'll validate the results. This slide is just to give references for control and status registers. So chapter two in privilege spec uh, discusses all the CSR registers elaborately. And the chapter nine in unprivileged spec uh, discusses the instructions to read each and every uh, CSR. And uh, this, the instructions to read, write, and modify. And the various formats are all discussed in chapter nine. And uh, Chapter 2 discusses about uh, the 4096 uh, control and status registers with the uh, description of each and every field and uh, the addressing conventions of uh, each of them. So you can refer these two chapters to know more about control and status registers. So just to give a glance of these two chapters, so this is chapter 9. So you can see here, this discusses the uh, read, uh, CS instructions to read a CSR register. And uh, this, this is the format and the variance of these uh, instructions. And a brief explanation of these instructions uh, discussed in the oven pre spec whereas in the privileged spec if you go to chapter 2 you can see the list of okay first so this is chapter 2 and you can see the csr listing here like the address convention addressing convention and the list of csrs so and then followed by the explanation for each and every CSR with along with the writable values are all discussed further below okay into the Freedom Studio. I'm going to use the uh, same template and files which I use for most of my sessions. And I'm just going to add the code here. And I'm going to use X1 register to read and write our CSR values. CSR read write right into X1 and I'm gonna read from MISA CSR X0. Okay, let's see what happens now.
so this is x0 x1 so x1 register is initially 0 and in the freedom studio you can see the MISA register value in the here okay so this is the present value so once I execute this instruction this value should be written to the x1 and at the same time uh, after that the value from x0 should be written into the MISA register so that's the uh, syntax for this let's see if that happens okay you can see the value is from the MISA register is read into this and the MISA register is modified now but uh, it's not completely overwritten at zero so please be informed that uh, for any special purpose register and uh, CSS here, you cannot write any arbitrary value. There are some permitted values and there are some permitted fields which you can override, but other, other fields uh, might not be uh, overwritable. So you need to have this permission and the legal uh, values. You should know the legal values and legal boundaries. All this you can get it from the uh, spec, okay? So now, okay, so now to see more about this uh, instructions, okay, so the format for this would be right, this is the destination register, and any one of the 4096 CSR register, uh, S1, okay, and there's also another variant of the same, wherein you can please write with immediate values, so destination, CSR and it can be any one of the unsigned immediate or five bits wide okay so you can do something like this uh, if I find x1 MISC comma 0 x1 to show I'm just gonna build and try with this five okay you can see here there wouldn't be any change because you are just writing the leasing in between one and it already has the bit set okay this is then to modify any CSR, what you would uh, CSR read and set x1 MISC, and uh, it can be x0. Okay, so syntax for syntax for this would again read set rd CSR. RS1 and the other variant would be set immediate RD CSR with an signed immediate value of four, 5 bits wide. Okay, you can also clear a bit. variant would be like this so, come on. And it, uh, it's why okay I'm just gonna clear the back read and clear x1 
Let's see, it's not on the Android and get I know. Zero and the value is red, and the MSA is modified because of this right from zero. Now, let's see, we are gonna set this so the new value this new value will be read into x1, and the last bit should be set to one after this. Let's see here. So the last bit is set one here, and the new value is right here. Okay, and I'm I'm just gonna clear the bit again. Okay, so the this one is cleared again. So this is how you read, write, and uh, modify any any of the CSR register. So this is the value that has been read into the X1 register and I have expanded the register values here like uh, so 0100 0, 0, which is 4 followed by 0 and then 1 0 1 1 0 5 again okay, but when you see the description for the MISA register so the last 26 bits are for the instructions and extensions and the most significant two bits are for the uh, width of the architecture so for the value what we read the width is going to be so one so which means so that if the mxl value is one the width is 32 so this is a 32 bit uh, code and our and regarding the instructions and extensions so these are the uh, least significant 26 bits and i have written the uh, alphabets below so and i have also highlighted the uh, alphabets so a, C, I, M, and U are the are, are enabled in this core. So now let's see it to validate if this is a right or wrong. What we can do is if you go to the uh, getting started guide of hi fi one. You can see the description about the core. Where is she? Okay. So this is the uh, E three. So the hi fi one board has the E3 core here it says RV32IMAC which correlates well here so 32 RV32 and IMAC and then there's a U bit which is set here which may be because of the if you go to the explanation for this so u is for the user mode okay so that's it so it so the value whatever we read the core value and so the instruction we use and the way we read uh, all validated with the value from the data sheet hope this helps and see you in the next session